So uh, I frequently get questions on how rotation of the maxillomandibular complex affects the vertical dimension of the face. Now typically if we do clockwise rotation the tendency is to lengthen the face and if we do counterclockwise rotation the tendency is to shorten the face. But it doesn't have to be like this because we can clockwise rotate and then move everything up and we can counterclockwise rotate and move everything down. So those are two totally different movements. One thing is rotation of the bimaxillary complex, which will give a differential projection to the chin and paranasal areas. And a totally different concept is vertical movement of the maxillomandibular complex. So in all cases, when I do my planning, I do horizontal movement, I project the face to the, our Barcelona line reference, then I apply the necessary clockwise or counterclockwise rotational movements in order to project more the chin or more the paranasal areas, and then according to the amount of vertical change that I want to apply, I just move the whole complex up or down. Very simple.